Hello friends, today we are going to discuss one more detection technique that is match filter. Objectives of today's lecture are to study match filter technique and to discuss impulse response of a match filter. The match filter, it is a technique. It is a technique optimum method to sense availability of spectrum since the match filter can maximize the SNR that is signal to noise ratio even if there is an additive white Gaussian noise. This feature is accomplished via correlation process inherent of the method. Unfortunately, some requirements of the match filter systems cause increasing and in implementation complexity. complexity. It is Important to note that this method may consume less power while sensing times is shorter. An optimum filter which yields a maximum ratio that is x o square of t divided by sigma it is called as a match filter when the input noise is white. Then the power spectral density that is PSD of the input white noise it is given by SNI that is input power spectral density SNI F it is equal to NO divided by 2. Now turning towards the impulse response of a match filter. The impulse response of H of T of a match filter can be obtained from the transfer function H of F. The transfer function H of F of optimum filter it is given by H of F it is equal to K into complex conjugate of x of f divided by SNI of f into e raised to minus j 2 pi f t. For the match filter, the input noise n of t, it is assumed to be white noise. Therefore, we can substitute SNI f that is nothing but NO divided by 2 only. So, we can replace this denominator SNI of F with NO divided by 2 and we have written the equation for the H of F that is transfer function H of F of the filter. The property of Fourier transform it states, it states that complex conjugate of X of F it is nothing but X of minus F. So again we can substitute this in at the numerator of h of f. So, we will be getting the equation 2k divided by n o x of minus f into e raised to minus g 2 pi f t o e. The impulse response h of t we know that is inverse Fourier transform of h of f. So, we can find out easily the impulse response of h of t that is nothing but i of t that is inverse Fourier transform of 2k divided by no x of minus f into e raised to the term that is minus g 2 pi f t. The inverse Fourier transform of x of minus f is x of minus t and the term e raised to minus g 2 pi f t represents a time shift of t seconds over here. So, we can write f of t it is f of t Fourier transform of x of minus t it is nothing but x of minus f. And so, f of Fourier transform of x of t minus t, it is nothing but x of minus f into e raised to minus j 2 pi f t over here. Therefore, what we can do? We can write h of t by using this property 2k divided by n o into bracket. This term will be replaced with x1 of t minus t and x2 of t minus t. This is required expression for the impulse response of a match filter. So, the impulse response of a match filter is a time reversed and delayed version of the input signal. This is proved from the above equation that is h of t it is equal to 2k divided by n o into bracket x1 of t minus t minus x2 of t minus t. Now, we can plot the impulse re response of a match filter by using the above expression which shows that the impulse response of a match filter is a time reversed and delayed version of the input signal. By keeping this thing in the mind, we can easily find out the impulse response of a match filter that is h of t over here. So, what we did, we have taken one signal that is x1 of t over here with the amplitude a and 
time that is t. This is what our input signal x1 of t. Now one more signal we have considered that is x2 of t with the amplitude minus a over here and that is again for the time period. Here we can see starting from 0 ending at the time t. Now we can find out x t of t minus t and x that is nothing but x1 of minus t minus x2 of minus t. If you find out, we can see the changes in the amplitude also and this will be your r x of minus t with the amplitude 2a. Now, it's easy to find out the delayed version of the same that is x of t minus t that is nothing but x1 of t minus t minus x2 of t minus t. So, this is h of t that is nothing but the impulse response of the match filter over here. Now, the probability of error of match filter. The probability of error which results when employing the match filter can be obtained by evaluating the maximum signal to noise ratio. That is x o of t, x o square of t divided by sigma square for the optimum filter. So this is the SNR, what we can say, maximum SNR. That is nothing but integration minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of f square divided by SNIFF df for the match filter PSD of input noise signal that is SNI of f that is nothing but NO by 2 that already we have discussed. Now we can replace this or we can write instead of SNI of f that is nothing but NO divided by 2. So in denominator we are getting NO and in at the numerator it will be 2. But x o of t, this signal, it is equal to x o 1 of t minus x o 2 of t. So again, we can replace this in at the left hand side instead of x o square t. And again, we can rewrite this by taking 2 by n o separately and then finding the integration of the x of f square df. But x of t we know that is again it is x1 of t minus x2 of t and this equation can be written as integration minus infinity to infinity x of f square df it is equal to now 0 to t as it is given x1 of t minus x2 of t square dt. So again solving this term a minus b square s square b square minus 2ab like that. So, we will be getting three separate terms and the integration for the three separate terms are given over here. Now, here integration minus infinity to infinity x of f square df that is nothing but what we can do instead of the previous terms x1, x1 square t, x2 square t and 2 x1, x2 x2 of t. The integration of all this we can replace this with e1, e2 and minus 2 e1, e2. That is nothing but energy of x1 of t e1, x2 that is energy due to the correlation between x1 of t and x2 of t. If we select now x2 of t that is nothing but minus x1 of t. Then what we can do? We can replace these terms like E1 is equal to E2 on that time, it is equal to minus E1, E2 and that is nothing but E. So, by substituting these things in above equation, we can find out integration minus infinity to infinity x of f square df that is nothing but E plus E plus 2E twice E because all E1, E2 and minus E1, 2 all are same. So, what we are getting E plus E plus 2E that is nothing but 4E over here. Now, in the previous equation again we can put this value or we can put this expression. So, ultimately our signal to noise ratio maximum signal to noise ratio we are getting 2 divided by NO into 4E it is equal to 80 divided by NO. Now, after solving this term you can take all the things, all the values under root of square root of this. So, you will be getting like under root of 8e divided by n. Or if we want to solve this separately to under root of 2, again under root of e by n. 
Now the expression for the error probability of an optimum filter it is given as already we have seen this PE that is error probability that is nothing but half of complementary error function that is ERFC that is nothing but again ERFC of XO1 of T minus XO2 of T divided by 2 under root of 2 sigma. Now the minimum error probability of a match filter is now what we can do we are having this term which is in bracket of ERFC that can be replaced directly so what we are getting here denominator uh, 2 under root of 2 it will be as it is but here what we did we have rewritten the expression that is instead of this one what we have written uh, the 8 will be separately denoted that is 2 under root of 2 and the term e by n under root of e by n so we can do this then it will get cancelled out only what we will be getting simply that is error probability minimum error probability will be half of ERFC of this much only. Now the conclusion over here is the error probability depends only on the signal energy E and not on the shape of the signal. The error probability of match filter is same as that of the integrate and dump receiver and the last conclusion therefore integrate and dump receiver it is also known as a match filter. Now Moving towards one more expression that is for the SNR of match filter that already we know 2E by NO it is. Now we can see examples on the same. If the input to a match filter is a rectangular pulse of amplitude A and duration T representing a logic 1 over here and no pulse representing a logic 0. Now it is asked to draw a impulse response, the impulse response of a match filter. Now what we can do for this, that is it is asked to draw the impulse response of match filter. So we know all the equations, all the expressions, then by using that only we can easily draw the impulse response. Now see, a rectangular pulse at the input of match filter can be denoted as x1 of t, it is a for the time period in between 0 to t otherwise it is 0 and absence of signal to represent a logic 0 can be represented as x2 of t that is equal to 0. So again we know that is x of t is nothing but x1 of t minus x2 of t and so what we can do x2 of t is 0 so only we can write x of t is equal to x1 of t over here. So that's it. Now the impulse response of a match filter it is given already in last lectures we have proved this h of t is nothing but 2k divided by no into x of t minus t it's as simple as that. So x of t it is x1 of t over here so just replace or rewrite the equation h of t is equal to 2k by no x1 of t minus t over here. Now here what we did we have considered our input signal x of t that is nothing but x1 of t. So what we are having here with the amplitude a as it is given in the example only that is amplitude a logic 1 is represented. Now we can find out x of minus t that is nothing but x1 of minus t. So it's simple that is x1 of minus t. Now we know that is h of t is nothing but 2ka divided by no into x1 of t minus t. So we can consider this is a folded input signal and this is our impulse response of a match filter. Now one more by Considering the previous example only, we are going to now calculate the maximum signal to noise ratio and we are going to draw the waveforms for the output signal of a match filter. Because what we did, we just got the impulse response. Now it is time to find out the output y of t that is nothing but x of t convolved with h of t that as we know and we have proved the signal to noise ratio also. So what it is, it is 2e divided by n no. And but we do not know the energy, the 
value of energy E. This is unknown to us. So what we can do? We need to first calculate E. So E that is energy we have seen that is integration 0 to T x square of T dt. x of T here what we have considered A only. So it is A square and the limits are given for the t that is 0 to t. So, what we are getting e is nothing but s square t over here. Again, by substituting this value into the above equation, we can find out the maximum SNR. So, here the maximum SNR value is what? 2e divided by n. So, what we did? Like we just have to put e is equal to a square t. So, the same we did 2 into a square t divided by n. Now, what is asked to do, it is asked to calculate the maximum SNR as well as it is asked to draw the waveform of the output signal of match filter. Now, output signal of the match filter is Y of T which is nothing but convolution of H of T and X of T. Now, again same input signal we have considered uh, because it is reference to the previous example X of T that is with the amplitude A x of minus t that we have already seen how to plot this. Now, this is again folded input signal. Now, about h of t which is what we can say a impulse response, nothing but impulse response or output that is x of t. It is equal to x of t minus t and this is our output y of t that is equal to x of t integration sorry convolved with h of t only. Now the example one more example here what is done it is asked to find out the impulse response of a match filter whose input is given by g of t. g of t is what a into sine 2 pi f divided by t and the time limit is given that is in between 0 to t. Otherwise, g of t is 0. So, basically, the input signal g of t is given and we need to find out the h of t of the match filter. So, the impulse response of a match filter is the time reversed and delayed version of the input signal. So, it is as simple as that. g of t we are having, g of minus t we need to find out which is a mirror image that is folded signal and or time reverse signal and delayed version of this we are getting over here. So, this will be delayed. So, h of t it is nothing but g of t minus t. So, the impulse response is given by the delayed version of the folded input signal. So, h of t we are having that is g of t minus t over here. So, it is very simple to find out the impulse response of a match filter. It is very easy to find out the error probability of the match filter. If we remember all the equations, then it is very easy to find out and draw the waveforms for impulse response as well as the output of a match filter also. So, we need to remember the expressions for the same that is what is your maximum signal to noise ratio, what is your output of a match filter. So, if we remember this, it is very easy to find out the outputs. Thank you.